So, again, before we go into the level, I will just show up quickly the batch market because I feel like I kind of need to go back there. So, as you can see, there is, you know, there's a bunch of upgrades here. There's the combo upgrades in the middle. There's the, the damage against the people with the guards up um, and stuff like that. And you can see that we kind of gotten further here. This is probably as far as you're going to see until you get a lot, a lot of gold materials. And gold material, gold materials are gold materials are hard to get. Honestly, they are. Well, gold only drops for bosses and uh, commanders. So yeah, but they are the rare point of it. So yeah, and <clears throat> even then, you, you need to have like materials plus on your weapons and stuff like that. So it's kind of. Annoying, honestly. It has a low drop, but hey, if you're used to grinding, it should be no problem. Yeah. So we were playing as Sheik, finally, using her harp. And as you can see there, one of her weapons have the fire material. Uh, the fire skill. Which is weird, because she's a lightning user. I wonder why that is. So, like anyone in the thread already told basically what, he, what you can... Is capable of doing. I mean, okay, I'm gonna correct myself and say, I know I told. I taught. You said? I said a bunch of crap about she. And okay, I will do, correct myself, and I did replay her, and. Okay, she's not as horrible as I meant it out to be, but she's still not one of my favorite characters. The best way to put it is that the Sheik is kind of the embodiment of the car of the, how the Zelda franchise is right now. If you can get used to her gimmick, then you'll love her. If you don't, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. For me, it's just that I, I found her to be. A, she has so many things to keep in mind, and for me, it's just that, nah, she's not for me. I'd rather for her have some. I mean, I, I mean, you say that, but you really only need to keep track of two combos. Her first know, and second, but, but in any case. Okay, so here's the uh, I don't like this song. This is really boring. I like when the beat kicks in, but not more than that. Yeah, it's a yeah, bit it's, it's a bit stale. It's just, I usually am a big fan of violins and stuff like that, but th this song makes me really not like them. <laughs> yeah. So you can see there, the, the game will soon tell us that we have to go over here and ambush them from behind from this waterfall. That's not important. What's important is Sheik's combos. <laughs> so first of all, you can see her, that her normal strong attack is just this light thing. It's not nothing really special, but when you do her a uh, one combo and you... If you do just one combo, like for example, you created the water tornado, you saw that a magic node appeared under her special attack. That means that when you do the uh, her strong attack again, then it will change. And it will play a sacred melody and it will change. So for example, if you do the water tornado, then you will make the serenade of water. And uh, which uh, yeah, which creates a water shield and it takes four hearts of damage. Does not protect against passives, like if you're inside a uh, keep that does damage, for example. Uh, the meteor, as you saw there, it when you crash on a meteor and then play a sacred melody, it will be bolero, the bolero of fire. Which is a, which creates a summoning pattern for a fire geyser that creates stupid amount of damage, quite frankly. Her third combo is the lightning cloud, which the sacred the sacred uh, melody for that is the um, song of storms that creates a lightning tornado around you, stays around for about five seconds, does small damage, but it keeps jungling the enemy, so that's useful, kinda. Her fourth uh, combo, which is when she uh, after she spins around a bunch, then presses a strong attack. She will jump into the air and do a shadow drill kick downwards. Then she creates a Nocturne of Shadows, which is, creates a black hole that pulls in enemies and deals continuous damage for 9 seconds, and it, which is mostly useful against mobs only. Uh, and Did you keep a timer on that one? It's exactly 9 seconds. No, I read from the uh, guide. Uh, her, <laughs> her, uh, and fin her final combo is when uh, after she spins around a bunch and she does a cross slash with her uh, knives, and uh, after you, if you press a strong attack there, you, she does like a light blast with her harp. That creates the sacred melody Prelude of Light, which creates a light square around you, which doesn't do any damage, but it, re but it does refill your special bar, so it's useful. And that's it. That's a a long story short, all her endings has a different elemental, and when you use a, a, a strong attack, after that, you will deal a specific yeah. elemental based around that last combo. Yeah. So you can see the music note there that tells you what, what elemental will be. 
usually you want to start with the water one and then just go... I usually end with the uh, darkness one since that one is pretty good for the mobs. Yeah, and when you go up against commanders, you definitely want to rely on the uh, on the uh, meteor, the Valero fire. Um, that or you can spam, you know, the uh, light one so you can spam uh, supers. You say that, but again, I feel like the Valero Fire is still more the Valero. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say the Sacred Melody for this one because I already have them written. But uh, the Valero Fire does so stupid amounts of damage. It basically it wrecks weak points. It just destroys uh, these small like captains. The only thing you have to worry about is that the enemy is not in uh, is not in the circle because if you're if they're outside the circle, they won't do take any damage, obviously. But yeah. And also, yeah, I, 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 I get you. I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying that there are different types of strategies. And yeah. again, I, uh, again, I was wrong. She's not that awful as I made her out to be. Yeah, she's good. It's just that you kind of have to get used to how to use her properly. Like she changes a lot, and as you, as you say, you have to think, of, you have to think of a lot of stuff. Yes. More importantly, but however, also, well, okay, no, sorry, you go first. No, I was just gonna say, like, yeah, she is kind of cool because she's a ninja, but, you know. Yeah. On the other hand, she also has her special attack, as you see there, which is her... It's a very big circle attack. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. I will say that was, that's one of the best mob attacks in the game. Yeah, actually, th this is the only attack I've ever, ever been managed to even get close to defeating 100 enemies at the same time. Which, oh, is one of the, which is one of the achievements, and in fact, I did actually get this on uh, one of my practice runs. On, uh, really? Because I have still not been able to get that. I don't even know what's a good... I think the best mission, I guess, is the second legend mission, because uh, towards the end, because there's like a ton of enemies there. Yeah, and also, actually, uh, right here, in the... Uh, right here, in, in towards oh, the was... temple, in the opening here, but as soon as the enemies start swarming out, you can also use it there, and you will do take out a lot of enemies. Okay, okay. Because I've been trying that. It's like as hard as trying to, you know, what, what is like kill like 300 enemies during Yo, no, magic it's mode. stupid. It's really stupid. That actually. is... I've been trying that. I'm, as close I've been coming to uh, 220 something. Yeah. That uh, is I, like I've only been close to like 150 at most, I think. It's... Yeah, you, like it, I, don't, I have no idea how to do it. Oh, actually, I, actually uh, that sealed weapon we just got, that's actually the Typhoon Harp. For Sheik, her second weapon. Already she gets her. Well, all you say already, but you know she has been playable since the Elden Caves. Yeah, but isn't this like the first time where the game tells you to play her? Yeah. Yeah. Fair. So. But we can still. Yeah. <laughs> no, My it, point it, still it, stands. It gets more ridiculous actually, because <laughs> well, we will see in the next level. Actually, it gets uh, even more ridiculous. Oh yeah, I kind of know that. Yeah. Well, um, so actually, speaking of the water temple... No, actually, wait, before we start talking about the water temple, there's a thing here that happens. Uh, so, Darunia is the... Uh, well, so whoever is the um, the uh, boss for uh, the uh, your team, they will actually start moving towards the middle. Or something like that. Uh, no, actually, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, stay, they, they start moving towards the middle, but before that happens, the... the um, Zelda actually sends a bunch of attack troops towards. Uh, in, if you're playing the Legends ver version, it will, she will send a lot more troops towards uh, Zerunia. Or, well, in, in my case, it's Zerunia. Otherwise, it will be Sheik, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, but the point is that there is, you have to actually go back and defend. Uh, if you're playing the Legends version, you have to go back and defend your uh, commander. I think it's Zerunia. It usually is Zerunia that needs help. Because he's usually, if I remember correctly, he's always like, I need help. Yeah. Silly. And also, Zelda, why? Why did you go to the evil dark side? Yeah, she's looking a bit pale there. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's uh, her Twilight version. Also, as you can see here, it. also as you can see here, Ruto has been captured, which means that we have to go and take over the. Uh, you have a time, basically, the uh, sort of like a time limit. Yeah. If she, if she falls, it's game over. Yeah, and also, and it, she doesn't have, she doesn't get a full uh, refill, actually, before this happens. So any damage she has taken beforehand. Stays. Yeah, it's. Is it yeah, I hate, it's... I hate this segment. Yeah, so hopefully you didn't let her take too much damage there in the first segment where you know she's screaming for help. Because unless, otherwise, I, th I think unless you do it on hard or hero mode, I don't think it's gonna be that. Also here, 96 KOs. 
Screw you, game. <laughs> good thing I already had 100k. Uh, uh, good thing I already did, got that achievement. Christ. Oh, also, at this point, you can see I have 1000 KOs. So, you wanna guess where the uh, skull flow is for this map? Where you're standing right now? Nope. Oh, it's... yeah, up there. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's all. It's actually. You might think it's on the other side of the map. Not completely, actually. We'll see it soon. It's. Uh, I know. I, I remember where it is, but yeah. uh, it, you still have a long way to trek. Yeah. So that was great. But um. Screw everyone! I have a skull switch catch. Yeah, it's here. It's uh, between the gra the grassy parts and the. Uh, and this, this forest this, domain. It's between a massive rift that you can see. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened here. Honestly, the game never really touches upon it. I think it's you know. The dimensional rift, like it, you know, this. I mean, probably. I think it's. I think it's supposed to signify a rift. Yeah, I, it's weird. I think I theories. Yeah. It's a game theory. Uh, shut up. <laughs> so actually, I was thinking about this. So I was thinking about this. Is this actually the best version of the water temple in any Zelda game? Because it's not annoying. Basically, it was <laughs> saying. I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> okay, but okay, so obviously the water temple in Ocarina, Ocarina of Time was a bit got changed in the 3DS version to for the better because you could now equip the. Uh... Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember. Okay. Yes. I think that's what the one reason why people still hate it is because of the whole like iron boots could not be hot key to like one of the sea buttons, but in this one, it, but in the 3DS you could. Which made it a less annoying because you didn't have to go like start menu boots on and then start menu boots off and keep doing that. Yeah, like it's still not a great dungeon, quite frankly, but it it's it, it's, it got better. In Majora's Mask, okay, okay. So I say the best water temple. I'm mostly talking about the uh, 3D games. In the 2D games, the water doesn't really play into it as much, quite frankly. I I will say this: I hate the Majora's Mask. Oh, water the Great Bay Temple. Actually, I was playing through the 3DS I... version. And I basically stopped after the Game Bay Pen Great Bay Temple because I hate the swimming controls. They are the worst. Like honestly, they, they, I haven't, I haven't touched. I, I don't, I didn't play much because My Worst Mask is my least favorite Zelda game. No, yeah, but like I think, yeah, but, I think it, I think I said that before. Yeah, uh, but anyway, so yeah, but trust me, like yeah, the Great Bay Temple is so bad because it's, conf it's well, okay, it's really confusing at least. It's fucking confusing, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> in Twilight Princess, we have the Sora's Domain, I think it's called. I don't remember. It, actually, it might just be called the Water Temple, now that I think about it. Uh, well, I think it's called the, Bay, uh, the Great Bay Temple, if I remember correctly. Yeah, in any case, it's... I don't remember and completely, but it was, you know, swimming controls. And then uh, and in Skyward Sword, we didn't really have a water dungeon. Instead, we had the part where the all of Faron Woods got encased in water. Well, actually, wait. There was a, a place sort of that had the water theme, sort of where you rise and over. It was, you know, we, we, the bosses that six arm like robot. Oh yeah, the yeah, the best boss in the game. You mean? Yeah, uh, I would say that is out of all the water temples, I would say the least annoying one. Yeah, and that, but and I. Yeah. But then, but the, well, so I was just, like, I was just thinking. In terms of water temples in 3D games, is this the, le the least annoying one? Because you don't really... Well, you don't have to... You don't have... You only need to lower water, so you don't need to do like 50 different times and, and it's like... <laughs> and honestly, you only... You yeah. And if you screw up, oh, you have to start all over again. And, uh, you know, it only happens in this, you know, in the legend, in the uh, story mode version. So, there's that, I guess. Yeah, in like in adventure mode, these things, uh, at least as far as I can remember, need to lower and uh, lo uh, high and low does not doesn't exist. Happen. No, it doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. And that is like at least the good part. Yeah, because that's still some bullshit. Really still, there's still some bullshit in, that still goes on, like how the how the layout is. Uh, because yeah, uh, like you don't, yeah, you don't like, really see. Okay, okay. So here's the thing: those four corners at the bottom part of the map. You can only reach them through one egg for one place. Well, no, uh, not completely. The two bottom corners you can reach from two. Yeah, the two. Okay, yeah, but two, two of the rooms you can only reach in one area, and it's really annoying when you're uh, like you're next to it, but you actually have to go down and then either left or right and then up. You can't just like, yeah. 
go into a dex. I don't understand what the hell was that idea with that, that was. It's kind of annoying, okay. yeah. So, actually, I do know why, but for the sake of argument. Yeah. Oh, also, by the way, the game has been telling me. You might have seen it before. The game was actually telling us that the Runa needed help because he had a lot of enemies on him. No. Oh, we say screw it. No, he doesn't, actually. He, like, I, I can promise you, I was looking on the gamepad the whole time. He did not take a single bit of damage. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, that's not something. Like, the game just like, oh, I need help. Like, like I'm having trouble with it. Dude, if you're, like, only lost, like, barely one-fifth on your health, are you that weak? But he, he hasn't even taken a slight bit of damage, honestly. Like, it's, like, usually the game would like starting to tell you that, to save someone when they have reached health. But this time, it's one of the missions is help Darunia. And we will actually go to see Darunia later, but you don't, no, you don't need to help him at all. He's safe. Well, mostly, actually, other, it's, that's it's not normal even, mode, at least. Actually, I think it's like, they start calling out for one, uh, like, I think it's uh, a quarter, half, and 25% left. But it's just that the first time it's like, but you guys have so much health, why do you complain? Yeah, see here, Darunia, he's safe. He's super safe. In fact, he's so safe that he goes back here where Rudo was captured and goes over to this right side of that room and takes over and bomb this boulder to get this heart container. Heart container, even. But yeah, as soon as you save uh, Ruto, she will disappear for a while. She'll come back later. But yeah, happy. Yay! Happy bro. Also, are we going to really talk about how uh, all the Gorons call uh, Darunia his bro? They're a bro. No, oh, well, they're a bro society, so. <laughs> Yo, come on, bro. What's, what's wrong, bro? You scared? Don't want to take on Zelda? But yeah, here's Zelda. She's looking a bit, pale, a bit more pale than usual. She must be coming straight out of Twilight Princess. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh. But I mean, she still uses light, and also her eyes are a bit. Wait, wait, wait! Didn't... Okay, so apparently, uh, here's something that I have uh, read up on. Uh, apparently, uh, Zelda is actually supposed to be the queen, but they still keep calling her princess. I mean, she has to be the queen, I guess. Well, she is the queen. She is the does ruler. That, does, but, but who's the king? Well, you can still be a queen. I mean, just look at the Queen of England. Oh, actually, uh, one thing. So, as you notice here, the game it tells us that uh, King Dodongo has appeared. You don't need to kill him. You don't need to kill him, actually. In fact, it's probably better that you don't, because you, if you just start a will on Zelda, unless you're playing, like, uh, someone that's not the same element, obviously. Uh, one thing, actually, unless you're playing the hard modes, unless you're playing the hard mode, then you actually have to go over and uh, kill the... I was, yeah, yeah. I was about... Yeah, if you play hard mode, you have to go over and kill the Dongo within three minutes of his arrival and keep Sheik alive with him, and, yeah, and you have to play as Impa. And at that point, the Skullshula appears at the top of that frozen water pool we were at before. I was about to say, you probably need to kill him in hard mode for the Skullshula to appear. Yeah, and and in three minutes. So that's great. Well, if you're lucky with the, you know, with the draw, I guess you can actually do it pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't just boost it, the power. Oh, actually, one more thing, actually. The Dongo, he actually has... He actually looks different in this uh, version. He actually has this uh, Ocarina of Time look. You know, the grayish with the green... With the green crystals. Really? Yeah. I did not know that because I never bothered to fight him during, during this part. I just, like, killed her. Yeah. In fact, he... In fact, she, he even looks like that in the 3DS version. So that's neat that he, they didn't remove that. Oh, look, the... Uh... Mirror of Truth. Which Truth, means, yeah. Yeah, which means, oh my god, it was Whisper all along, but then who is Zelda? Wait, then when who is Sheik? Okay, Sheik, what can she he, he be Zelda? Because she's a magical girl transformation! What? <gasps> no way! I did not see this coming! Our sa sarcasm is off the roof! <laughs> I, I, but honestly though, I like how the uh, transformation into, into Zelda is like, complete with magical girl spinning. Yeah, I know. Like, we, we really needed to... We really needed to know that. But seriously, like... Where did she hide all those clothes? Wait, wait, the, are your clothes also magic? Uh, maybe it's magical changing clothes, you know. Man, she really is a magical girl. Like, can you well, it's not the f it's not the first time in Ocarina of Time she did, you know, change into. She didn't. She didn't spin around. Like, made herself confused. 
Well, whatever. So yeah. Hooray. Typhoon Harp. Typhoon! I should also probably mention that Sheik and Zelda are two different characters. <laughs> oh yeah. You can actually have Zelda and Sheik at the same time, which will raise a bunch of questions. Yeah. So... Well, I, I can assume that Sheik is from the that Sheik version from a kind of time, I guess. 